what's up guys let me show you how you can quickly fix this error all right so this is my vmix application let me launch you guys for you to see the error okay so this is the error okay it's a microsoft.net framework error all right this is the error and i'm going to show you guys how to fix this okay and the most important thing is that after showing you guys how to fix this error i'm going to also show you guys how you can prevent this error from occurring which is very very important so make sure that you stick to the end of the video and i'm going to show you guys how to do that okay so to fix this error the first thing we have to do is to uninstall the vmix application from our computer so the first place we have to go is to go to our control panel over here okay and they are going to uninstall the vmix application from here okay so when you scroll down you see three vmix files here. So are going to uninstall all of them click on uninstall so let's uninstall the first one here uninstall your vmix social uninstall the vmix video code okay so we are done uninstalling the vmix from our control panel so let's go to our c drive uh, this pc go to c drive okay and you have to delete the VMS files okay so when you go to the program file uh, 86 okay scroll down and then delete do you have vmix folders here okay we don't have vmix folder here so let's let's check through the folders to see if you are going to get any vmix files to honest to delete okay the leftovers So I didn't see one well, them go to the programs data. Okay. Program is okay. There's a VMix file here we can delete. So you have to delete these two files. The VMix and then the VMix NTI helper. Delete these two files. Great. And these two files have been deleted let's go to uh, so if check this if check this if check this let me go to the users and then click on the, your name that's my name. and then click on app data if you want to enable this app data you go to you will go to um, options it depends on the pc you are using i am using windows 11 so you go to options and then you you turn it on i think i think you have to turn the um, you turn hidden file folder make sure that show hidden files files dot driver so make sure that this one is turned on okay when you turn it on and press okay you'll be able to access the the app data over here all right so click on the app data go to local and then let's delete this studio coast that's the company that did the vmix delete it this folder studio coast delete it okay so um, we are done cleaning our system cleaning all the vmix files from our system so the next thing we have to do is to reinstall the vmix application all right but in this case we want to install it differently okay so uh, what we are going to do here is that you have two options either you can install it in your drive d or you can install it in drive drive c okay so if you want to install it in your drive c you are going to create a special folder for it okay so let me create a special folder for my application and then let me name it vmix installation okay so this is the folder i'm going to install the vmix application into all right okay so this is my vmix application i'm i'm about to install okay so i'm going to click on next and then i'm going to change the location to the folder i've selected i've created already so we created a folder inside okay there is it it's inside our drive c and then we have it here vmix installation click ok so the folder has been selected here go to next and then go to next and then let's create an icon for it. go to next and then let's allow the installation to finish then 
I'll come back to you guys when the installation is finished, okay? Okay guys, so the installation is done. So let me launch my vMix application. I've just installed, let me launch it over here. And then let's see how it's going to perform, okay? Okay, let me select the language. Then let me go to OK. Our VMIS application is working nicely now. OK, guys. All right, so the error has been fixed and the application is working very nice. OK, so if you want to avoid this error, make sure that you always like the VMIS application first before you connect internet to your computer. OK, when you do it the other way around, you're always going to get that uh, Microsoft dot uh, net frame error and they are going to get it that way all right so guys i believe this tutorial have been of great help to you and i believe you've learned something about it okay so thank you for watching i'll catch you in another tutorial bye bye